Welcome to the party, pal. You're from the neighborhood. Master Chaos back with you once again tonight. We're going to go home hunt hunting. I'm here with uh, Little Master. We're about to approach uh, something that we've drove. <laughs> we drove a far, far, far distance to get to. Uh, but hopefully it's worth it. It looks like it's going to be worth it. They are playing uh, licensed music, so I cannot uh, narrate uh, the, uh, the this portion of the video uh, coming up. But uh, I will, of course, do a voiceover um, and uh, well, I'll play some lovely Halloween music as we enjoy Helser's Purge Hunt. And here it is, the Helser Purge Night event. There's a, a little info placard up here. Feel free to pause and read. Sort of talks about uh, their plans and what they were going to do this year. But uh, they decided they were going to not do it this year. Then decided to uh, do something after all. It's not what they normally do. They do a cemetery. But uh, they wanted to go all out. And here they go. Purge night it is. There is Kiss Me Kimmy from election year. This is all sort of election year base. In my opinion, that's the best one. The NFFA, that is, of course, the organization that runs uh, the purge that's in charge of America at the time. Those are the uh, CDC guidelines for everybody being safe when you come see it. There is a digital fire up in that building, the Helser Deli and Ligger. I'm not sure what Helser means. I'm not sure if that's the name of the family who owns the house uh, or, you know, the property or, um, or or what, where that comes from. But uh, it's, this is known as the Helser Haunt every year. I, I, every year it's normally a cemetery, but this year... We, we, we get a little more end of the world. I think it's very fitting for this year to, to get a purge theme over here. We've got uh, some uh, other uh, purgers. Um, what I didn't notice until looking closely was that, that right there, that's like a, a, a half-eaten woman or uh, a chopped up lady. It's very, very disturbing. This, of course, is the Carnival of Flesh, which I guess is a thing that happens during the purge. I, I'm not sure, but uh, that is the building kind of... Uh, an old deli and liquor building that's been um, <laughs> destroyed by purgers. That is Lady Liberty and George Washington there with the American flag, AK-47. Great detail. Really looks great. Definitely captures the feel of a purge night, in my opinion. And then the, the fog started to kick in here, make the fire look a little more realistic. It, uh, uh, it came, you know, <laughs> it came down right on top of us. It just felt great. It looked really added to the, the effect. And, of course, here is Kimmy. Uh, Kiss Me Kimmy. This is uh, a Little Master's favorite character. That's her car. That's why that car is covered in Christmas lights if you've never seen the movie. Um, and that's just a static prop. But uh, Helser, yeah. Purge Night 2020. Let's take a closer look at the car here. It's got Christmas lights all over it because that's kind of her design, her purge car as it were. And there's Kimmy, creepy as all hell. Well, that was an interesting haunt. I really like the detail on that one. Uh, really, really nice setup. Really great tribute to the Purge. Uh, it's in Rancho Cucamonga. If you're not in the Rancho Cucamonga area, I don't think it's worth the drive out. It's a very small uh, little plot of land, but uh, really great. Really, really well designed overall. I know uh, Little Master is a big Purge fan. He enjoyed it. Um, now uh, we're going to go check out Sawin's Lot. Also known as Sam Hain, for those who mispronounce it. Before I forget, at the end of this video, we're going to take a look at the Scream Factory Shocktober sale for 2020. So stay tuned for that. We're going to look at the site, see what they have available. And I'll tell you what I picked up uh, during the 2020 Shocktober sale. But now, let's continue with the haunting. Sawin's lot, folks. Ooh, baby. Yeah, here we go. Don't open that inside. That's really cool. Hello! Look at this giant spider up there. Hold on, let me look at this giant spider. See the giant spider up there? The cocoon person? Yeah. Right up there? That's awesome. What do you got here? Yeah, yeah, there's, there's trick or treaters back here. Everything seems. Kind of normal, and then what's that in the distance? Oh, some creepy creatures watching the trick or treaters, right? That's awesome. Let's see. Uh, sprinklers, I guess. Wow, and this, of course, the zombie doors from The Walking Dead. Let's go around here, look around. Whoa, wow, look at the spider webs. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my god, that's detailed. That's some detailed spider webs. Nice blue orbs here. Oh, why do people love spiders? Oh, look, here's the detail. You guys want to come check it out? Wow. Oh, this guy's here. Wow, look at this fence. Spiders are creepy, man. Look, don't touch them, they won't touch you. That's what the sign says. They won't touch you if you don't touch them. Spiders? Everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I see what you're talking about. Wow. Look at those. Look at those guys. So, oh, Judith Myers. That's awesome. Norman Bates' grave. Freddy Krueger. Can't read that one. That one. There's a guy sticking out of the ground there. Wow. Look, there's Sam in the window. Come on, see Sam. I see Sam in the window. Oh, this is amazing. Pal, this one to take in. Oh my god, at least a good two months to put together. Lighting here is great. Everything feels very put together. Connell? Oh, Cochran? I don't know what that is. I don't know if anybody knows what that means. Connell O'Cochran? Maybe that's a family thing. Oh, Pamela Voorhees there. The grave of Pamela Voorhees. All the greats are buried here. Who's that one? Sam Hank himself. Wow, oh, there's more in the house as well. The house is all decked out. Holy Moses. This one really takes the cake. Look at that. Colors, there's a witch there. Daddy, I'm gonna go up so I can see and then this is the. Dad, can you go up so I can yeah, see it's okay. Oh, you can, yeah, just be careful. Sam Hain, Salon's Lot, there's a guy there in the pot. Or a wishing well? I guess it's a wishing well, yeah. Little wishing well guy. Let's see, this is a Beware of Monsters. So, oh, you hear that? What is that noise? I'm out of here, man. Oh, look, another giant skeleton. Back up there. That's he's in his ankle pad. Oh, is he? Yeah. Remember Louise? Whoa. Beautiful. It's a little high up. So, unfortunately, um, my, my angle has to be from down here. There is a, hold on a second. There's like a curb here the little master's standing on right now. So I can't necessarily get... I'm close and personal. I don't even know if he's supposed to be up there, but uh, he's little, so I think he'll be okay. There's like a little Halloween tree there and a ghoul. Look at that ghoul. Isn't it cool? The fog is rising over the cemetery here. Woo! Heading off into the night. Do some damage. Wow. Foggy cemetery. Perfect for a Halloween evening stroll. Fog definitely adds a wonderful element to the whole proceedings. Wow, this is great. Awesome. So beautiful. This is my favorite of the night. The witch is talking. saw this across the street really beautiful really vibrant lots of details here let's check these out first of all look at the gate here Whoa. nicely lit gate look they got a zombie here on the ground a big spider it's amazing what's a spider oh yeah inflatable spider oh and he moves we got a little it's wobbly like head that we have. just like our shark yeah and we've got a giant dude those are like Eight feet, twelve feet, something like that. This is the uh, Paul Bearer guy. This guy looks amazing. Ooh, the light went out. What happened? Oh, it's like a show. Is it? Let me see. Oh, maybe it's supposed to be like that. I don't know. This is a spooky lane and dead end, so you know how to find your way. 
that's it if you're looking for other direction this is awesome look at this whoa there's a gargoyle i haven't seen that guy an inflatable gargoyle he's new never seen him before and then we got this giant guy look at this giant oh, skeleton that's yeah, we have a uh, we have a giant skeleton in our neighborhood as well. God, he's massive. He's like hanging onto that palm tree, like like it's like a like it's like a broom to him. Wow, that's awesome! Huge, 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 huge. Yeah, we're just in time for the light show. Oh, this is so cool. Well, I really love. Oh, I love Halloween so much. Me too. I love this little lamp here. Oh, beautiful all around. Just very classy. Good use of inflatables and tombstones and lights. Love all the I love all the flashing. The strobing is really, really, really effective. Overall, very impressive. Very happy with this one. Uh, I love those California palm trees. Look at that. Oh yeah. Let me also casually point out that we're near Elm Street. It's that wonderful time of year when Scream Factory gives us a break on the prices with their Shocktober sale. I'm very excited. I'll tell you what I picked up. I grabbed five items, uh, a little less than I wanted to pick up, but I, I have to restrain myself. Black Friday is just around the corner, and, uh, well, I, let's just say I have to restrain myself. Uh, first row. My God, here we go. 10 to midnight. I didn't get that one, but that's uh, that's on my list. Ten to midnight, the Babadook behind the behind the mask, Black Christmas, Bubba Hotep for twelve fifty. That's a good deal. The Burning Candyman, wow, Candyman for nine bucks. That is a heck of a deal. Cyborg, yeah, wow, that's that's a good price for Cyborg. I don't know that I'd, I liked it when I was a kid. I don't know that I need to own it though. Craft, I just bought that, but dang, that's a good deal for that. Oh, Death Becomes Her for twelve bucks. That's not bad. I haven't seen that movie in forever though. Good deals here. Very good deals here. Drag Me to Hell. Great movie. The Entity. I really wanted that. 15 bucks. I'm on the fence about that one. Uh, I didn't... I didn't those, that's not one of the ones I picked up, but I really want that one. And Drag Me to Hell, I just got a Hamilton book recently. Uh, let's see here. Next. Forbidden World. For some reason, I feel like I've seen this movie, but I don't have any recollection of it. And uh, you can get it on Steelbook for twelve fifty. I almost got it. But the fact is, I don't even know if I like it or if I uh, if I have seen it, so I decided to pass on it. But that's a heck of a deal for a steelbook. Uh, Frankenstein created women. In my in my opinion, that is the worst Hammer movie, so uh, that's a hard skip. Hell Knight, great movie. Seventeen bucks isn't so much of a deal. I, I passed. But look at this, the It's Alive trilogy. I did a whole video on the It's Alive trilogy. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks, you guys. That's amazing. Next up, uh, Lawnmower Man. Twelve fifty. Good deal. That's a really good deal. Wow, I didn't even know actually Lawnmower Man was out. Uh, Life Force Steelbook, thirteen fifty, really great deal. Night of the Creeps, fifteen bucks. That's great. Oh, that's such a good movie. Night of the Demon Steelbook, thirteen fifty, really good deal. Oh, the Paul Nashy collection. I hundred percent guarantee that you guys will have fun with those. Pick those up, thirty bucks, and I think you get like uh, four. I think maybe five, maybe even six movies. I don't remember. Right? It's a lot of movies. It's a good deal for 30 bucks. I highly recommend those movies. Phantom of the Paradise. Piranha. Here's one of the ones I grabbed. I don't own Piranha on Blu-ray. This is the limited uh, Steelbook Edition 1215. Great deal. Oh, the Wreck Collection for 30 bucks. Highly, highly recommend that. That is a hell of a steal. Next up here, here we go. Return of the Living Dead 1 and 2. I love Part 2. I'm a big fan of Part 2. I almost grabbed Part 2, but I, I think I'm going to wait till it's a little cheaper than 17 bucks. Uh, uh, in, in, in any kind of capacity. Silent Hill here for $14. That's the uh, second one that I picked up. I love that film. I don't own it. And uh, I'm glad to own it now for $14. I think that's the right price for this disc. And that Silent Night, Deadly Night figure, um, uh, I'm on the fence about that. I kind of I, The movie I kind of like as a joke. I don't know that I really want the figure, but eh, well, I'm going to pass. Starman I just picked up recently. Sleepwalkers, I really want that. I love that cover. Very, like, bubblegummy. But, uh, I don't know, 17 bucks. I feel like I can wait till it's cheaper. Uh, let's see here. Demon Knight. I almost picked up Demon Knight. Then I checked my shelves, and I own it already. So I'm glad I didn't. Bordello of Blood. I think I can wait till it's cheaper. Uh, the same with Texas Chainsaw Next Generation. Let's see here. Now, uh, something else I picked up. The Universal Horror Collection Volume 2. 35 bucks is a solid deal for those four films. That's something I like to watch on Halloween. I watched 
volume one last Halloween, sort of as a marathon. And I stayed up all night watching those. So this Halloween, I'm going to watch volume two. I'm actually probably going to do an, uh, an all night horathon video on that. Uh, so uh, follow along if you're new here. Subscribe and you won't miss that video. Urban Legends, I kind of really wanted to, but 17 bucks, I think I can wait till it is cheaper. I'm surprised that Trick or Treat isn't cheaper or The Thing. Those should be cheaper, but eh, I guess not. Anyway, I highly recommend the Universal Box. Valentine, not a not a huge fan of that movie, but 14 bucks is a good deal for that. Uh, here we go. Abominable Snowman of the Himalayas. I want that one for 16 bucks. I, I can wait. What else we got here? Uh, Big Trouble in Little China Steelbook, 17 The Big Trouble in Little China Super Collector's Edition thing with the LP and the whatever lithograph. and I mean, that's a good deal. 65, 66 bucks. That's a that's a good discount if you wanted all that uh, the, the, all that uh, digamadu bones. Uh, I'm gonna pass on bones or bug. Yeah, nothing in in this. Oh, the blob. I really wanted that one actually. Another kind of bubble gummy cover, but 17, 18 bucks. I think I can wait till it's cheaper. Demons of the Mind. That's not a great movie. Curse of the Werewolf. I really wanted, but I can wait till it's cheaper. Camp Coldbrook. Has anybody heard about this movie? I keep hearing people talking about Camp Coldbrook. I have no idea what the heck it's about. Um, but I'm going to pass because I don't know what it's about. But Curse of the Werewolf is on my list for next time for sure. Depraved? I don't know Depraved. I think that's a new movie. The Devil Rides Out. That's a great film. I can wait till it's cheaper though. Escape from LA. I can wait till it's cheaper. The Fly Collection. 39 bucks. What a... Oh, God. Oh, damn. What a deal. The, fin the Final Program. I don't know what that is. Fear No Evil. I've seen that cover, but I have no idea what that film is. Evil of Frankenstein I got for 14 bucks at Target. So I'm good on that. Uh, the House That Jack Built, that's the Lars von Trier film. I heard that's pretty intense. That's like a fairly new movie. 13 bucks is a good deal for that. Uh, Itsy Bitsy, that's like one of those new ones. Inseminoid looks like probably a blast. I'm sure I've seen it, I don't remember it. The Howling Statue, 50 bucks. Well, that's not much of a deal. The Mummy Shroud, 17 bucks. Lost Continent, that's, I didn't even know they put that one out. Let's Scare Jessica to Death, nice, 18 bucks. I think uh, everything here I can wait till it's cheaper, in my opinion. Uh, Murders of the Rue Morgue is another one that I picked up. I've been dying to, to get that on Blu-ray. I love that film very much. I love Bella and I love him. It's Dr. Miracle. It's a great movie. Pick that up. Highly, highly recommend it. 13 bucks, 18, uh, 14 bucks. Great deal. Great deal for that one. And then 40 bucks for the Omen set. Damn, that is that is a juicy price for that. If you don't have that, grab that now. And that Night of the Demons two pack, Susan and Stooge. Gosh, I, I think I really want that. That's really great. But 60 bucks. Yeesh. I'm gonna if you know if it sells out, it sells out. But I'm gonna wait till it's cheaper. Rasputin the Mad Monk. I love that movie. Uh, Rabbit. I think that's the remake, right? The Soska Sisters remake. I'm gonna pass on those. But Prophecy and Orca. I really love. I decided to just stick with Orca. That's uh, I think that's the last one I picked up. Orca, great, great, uh, great aquatic horrors movie. So so good. And Prophecy is really fucking great too. But I, I again, I had to restrain myself. Rose, Silver Bullet I almost picked up as well because I really love that movie. But I just saw it recently, and I feel like I can wait till it's cheaper. Then of course the Slumber Party Massacre Deluxe Limited Edition Steelbook. Uh, action figure with uh, the uh, the killer guy there with his drill. Straight on till morning. I don't know that movie. I've never heard of that movie. The Tenant. Um, none of these. Uh, Trespassers I don't know. I think that's a new film. To the Devil a Daughter I wanted, but I think I can wait till it's cheaper. And X the Unknown. I really wanted to grab that. But again, I, I think I'll wait till it's cheaper. And here are the other volumes of the Universal Horrors. Uh, volume 3. As Tower of London, Man-Made Man Monster, The Black Cat, and Horror Island. Volume 4 has uh, Night Key, Night Monster, Climax, I think, and then House of Horrors. Volume 5 has The Monster and the Girl, Captive Wild Woman, Jungle Woman, and Jungle Captive. I remember those movies quite well, actually. They're like a, almost like a trilogy there. And uh, they're all 41, you know, 42 bucks. I think I can wait till they're cheaper. I, I doubt that they will sell out. If I do hear that they're running low or they're close to going out of print, I will. I'll snatch them up, but I think I'm good with just Volume 2 for this Halloween, and then I'll wait for Shocktober 2021, if the world is still around, to pick up the rest. Well, pal, I hope you enjoyed that uh, jaunt around town, checking out those amazing home haunts. Don't worry, more is coming. I have a big list of places to check out, so stay tuned for that. Also, I really loved pouring over the Scream Factory Shocktober sale with you. 
Uh, let me know what you're going to be getting down in the comments below. I'm always curious to see what people will be adding to their shelves or, well, I guess I should say, upgrading from their shelves. I guess for now, I'll leave you. Uh, I hope this video has found you happy, healthy, and well. Until we meet again, this has been your Philly Neighborhood Master Chaos. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And for those of you who have, I love you. Please remember that your old pal Master Chaos remains to be continued.